Alright, we are back. I knew I could do another episode of this. So, uh, we're back with the walkthrough with commentary, otherwise known as Let's Play. I think I'll just say Let's Play from now on, even though to me it sounds dumb, but more people will understand what it is when they hear it. Let's see. We gotta, okay, so we just went through the laboratory. Talked about the silly lights. I do appreciate the detail, the level of detail that was put into this project. It's put into this this game. Let's find out what's in the archives, shall we? The door slammed shut behind him and he knew he would never again see the old tailor at Berkeley Square. Another lone soul in London seemed appropriate somehow. thirsty, so I think after this experience I'm going to be going out, running some errands. Library. Rare books. I don't know if that's fake. Um, fake Latin or real Latin? I don't know. Maybe it's really good Latin. Someone tell me. If they want, of course. No more lamp oil. A lot of books. Apparently these aren't very rare since they're just lying around. 16th of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Hmm. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Something interesting about archaeology is that you would think that people discovering these artifacts, I don't know, would approach the ancient structures and ancient items with more care and responsibility and respect but it's no wonder that the shadow is chasing after Daniel because he didn't yet understand how incredibly important that object that he found was in the next story or two so I guess a part of this this story in general is about learning to respect nature and things that uh, things that are good or things that we don't understand Tinder books. besides you know learning how to survive a zombie apocalypse type scenario Wilhelm's contract. I hereby offer my full attention and services to Alexander, Baron of Brennenberg. So he's professing his love for Alexander. Soak up the sun! <clears throat> Too bad I can't, you know, smash open some blocked windows to let some... To let <sighs> that really disturbed me. Mm. Ah. But it's... oh. 
That is not a lot of light. Too bad you can't use shirts or anything. 17th of May, 1839. My hand trembles as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Uh, son of a I must have sucked. But then again, he was approaching something with expectations. You know. Uh, I hear some rustling in the background. I, I still don't know what the hell this thing is. I've seen it in real life before. I don't... Oh, sh Apparently it's a supernatural entity that kills people when you touch it. Or scares the hell out of them. Shut up. Down. <laughs> Somebody was good at the piano. Or at least decent. Lamp oil. Oh, why don't they keep playing? It would settle my nerves a little bit if I heard them continuously playing, even though I had no idea who or what was playing the piano. It. <sighs> Nothing to be afraid of, Daniel. It's just a musky room with passageways and eerie sounds. S study. Study. Oh, uh, didn't I go through this? Oh, yeah, I did. Kinda reminds me of Silent Hill a little bit. Momento. We're leading to the local history room is locked. Is there another entrance? There must be. 